welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I am in uh, Sparks, Nevada at the uh, historic casino John Squag's Nugget. And I'm going to uh, take you inside today and show you a little bit of this uh, casino, some of its theming. And as you can see here, near the entrance, we have a, uh, a statue to the shepherd, which is a reference to uh, John Esquaga, his family, and the uh, legacy of uh, Basque sheep herders, which uh, is referenced here in this statue. So let's take a look inside, and I will uh, feature some of the theming of this historic casino in Sparks, Nevada. And so here's... Um, one of the restaurants, uh, Restaurant Orozco. It's uh, closed right now, but you can see that there is um, reference here to the uh, Basque theme reflected here on the wall and sort of the village theme that is also carried out uh, throughout the restaurant. And you can see some of the uh, landscapes highlighted here. And then also near the elevator too. A little uh, faux painting here at the end of the elevator. Thanks. And there's a um, couple items out, outside the lobby, in this case uh, a reference to sort of the, uh, the gold rush legacy of the area. Here is a um, gold scales that were, I guess, originally used in the mint in Carson City. So uh, an effort to use a little local history and material culture to uh, spruce up the lobby. And so this is kind of curious, the golden rooster here. Uh, one of the kind of the main features here in the lobby you can see on this uh, carousel and there's a bit of a, um, a guide here provided for the guest. I'm trying to read it myself here. Um, pretty long brochure as you can see. But uh, in any case, uh, you know, I think the uh, nugget here uses material culture in some ways to just uh, create a connection with the guests and to give the guest um, something to think about or something to see or near the, uh, the check-in area. And so here I just discovered there's a pretty extensive display of uh, Nevada branding iron. So we're carrying here a little bit um, close to the uh, poker room at the Nugget. Uh, we're carrying a bit of the theme then of uh, the heritage of uh, herding. You can see here referenced. Actually pretty interesting. You know, this is not unlike a, a museum that gives you a bit of uh, information about what branding is like. It shows you um, some of the facets of farming and it looks like this particular display is on loan from the College of Agriculture so kind of uh, connects back to uh, some of the local heritage of the region and uh, I guess give the, gives the guest a little bit of a sense of um, theming that's carried throughout the casino here at the Nugget. So that was a br brief trip inside John Esquaga's Nugget and um, as you can see from my feature uh, in looking at uh, some of the facets to the casino. There's not an extensive array of theming in the casino. You have kind of the uh, the entrance area that references uh, John Esquaga's uh, family heritage, and you have, uh, you know, certainly a themed restaurant in uh, uh, Trader Dick's, and you also have uh, kind of the branding iron displays and a few objects of material culture near the lobby. Uh, one of the areas where there's the most theming is there. Um, uh, homage to uh, the Basque Country uh, restaurant Orozco. Uh, and this is just outside the entrance here. You have Last Chance Joe, uh, pretty tall here, a 36 foot tall miner, as you can see from the plaque. And uh, this is one of those things that is um, a feature that you could see certainly from the street here just off of Victorian Square in Sparks. And so this is something that uh, has maybe a, a cartoonish appeal with the guest and references the uh, legacy of, of mining, which is certainly important for um, many parts of, of Nevada. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the Nugget in Sparks, and perhaps you will uh, come back and uh, listen to additional features of the Immersive Worlds Handbook.